It was a very close final. Our winning couple won with a mere 80% of the public vote. <laughs> <laughs> and they're here today. Please welcome the winners, Jack and Danny, everybody. <laughs> Take a seat, take a seat. Oh, here we are. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, man. I'm a bit hungover. Yeah. yeah. I'm not actually. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> how are you finding Edinburgh? How long have you been here? Um, when did we get yesterday? Yesterday. yesterday. Oh, I like Edinburgh. I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I'm trying to get you to delay the flight. You should stay. He wants us to stay, so we can have a drink with him tonight. That's what he wants. <laughs> Imagine it. Think how many followers I'd get on Instagram. <laughs> 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 so, what's life been like now you're out? Oh, it's been crazy, isn't it? Manic. It's just mad that everyone recognises you, you don't think. Because when you're in there, like you're in this little bubble, and all of a sudden, like you go down the street, and like, can I have a selfie? And the first time someone asked me, uh, can I have a photo? I went, oh, I'll take it for you. She went, no, have you? I was like, oh, God, don't you? <laughs> I forgot, I was on the show. Like, yeah. How is, like, day to day life, can you get from A to B now? without someone asking for a picture? Not quickly. No, not quickly. <laughs> we went Blue Water the other day, that was the hardest one, oh, weren't yeah. it? Blue Water? Yeah. yeah. Who with? Just yeah. on your own? Just us yeah. two went. And a little girl and grabbed my leg and she started crying. Her. I'm like, what are you crying for? I didn't want to leave for two months. <laughs> she was like, no, I've lost my mum, can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, please, I've lost my mum. You're like, oh, you can have a selfie and then get gone. <laughs> no, but what is, I mean, what, what, is, it, is there a day-to-day -day life now? What's, your, what's a day in the life of Jack and Danny? Is, is there a normal day? Is every day just different? Every day is different yeah. from me and you, really, Because you're you? always doing different things during the day and stuff like that. Um, what sort yeah. of stuff? <laughs> Imagine I there's people know. who want sort of any sort of specifics. <laughs> we uh, do stuff, we do things. It's always doing a photo shoot somewhere. No, it's all, it's all different things really. I, can't, I don't know, it's weird for being put on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do today? Um, oh, today I've just got ready and come here. <laughs> she I got, she got really breakfast stressed breakfast out, so it was like a case where a case wouldn't do up, so I had to, I had to sort of push it out. I was going, they can't do the case up. I was going, alright. <laughs> Yeah. And do you do a lot of these, the PAs? Yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've been doing them. Public appearances. Talk us through a public appearance. Right, so you just pretty much go there. Um, <laughs> there. You, just go, you just go right, there. Can we stop using words that begin with T? By there, we mean nightclub. Right, yeah. so you go to the nightclub, you know, you take some photos and, and you go on. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But that's it, really. I, I would like to say there's more to it, but there's not. No. <laughs> You enjoy yourself, don't you? I, don't, I have a good time. Yeah. I have a good time. What's your, what's, what's your technique for the photos then? Well, I like to put one leg forward, so like, I'm like, you know, a bit of like action like, shot. Talk us through action it. Shot. <laughs> so I'm kind of just... Uh, so so you, I'm a lass in a so club, you, right? I'm right, a lass so in a club, club or a lad. And I go, oh, oh, my, hello, oh my God, God can I get a photo? Leg forward, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I don't know why the leg comes forward yeah. every single time. I don't, I don't know why I do it. He actually does that a lot. It's to lengthen the leg, isn't it? Yeah. I love being taller. I love the idea that like, the head of Channel 5's here, like trying to get an inside scoop to make a show, and it leaves going, I know how to take a cracking selfie. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you guys went in, did you expect to find love? No. Uh, yeah, it sounds stupid going love island and you don't think it, but I just didn't think. It, it would happen. Didn't think it'd be an easy ride. I mean, it, no. it's never easy in there, but you don't actually expect. I mean, it's difficult to like find love as it is. So to go on a show, yeah, do yeah, it, it was scary. Did you did you ever get smug when everyone else was breaking down and you two were just no, like? No, because you're waiting. You're waiting. <laughs> you're, you're sort of, <laughs> that's the thing in that show because it, it's the test relationship. You kind of sort of think, what's around the course around tomorrow? Yeah. What's, uh, bring an ex in again. Yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> just stuff like that. So you, you, you're not really. You don't have time to relax around it, kind no. of thing, but... You're all happy in that, and Yeah, you're you think, well, I'm too happy. It's a little bit too nice in here now. It's a little bit too nice. Yeah, if you ever want to go on the show, I recommend that. Just even have a pretend argument just to throw <laughs> the producers off the set. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you guys want to do now? What's the, what's the future? What's the future hold? Um, what sort of stuff do you want to get into? I'm do you know what a podcast is? There's so many no. questions. Yeah. There is. It, the thing is, is, we've had so many like lovely opportunities, you know, yeah. you don't expect yeah. to come off a show and That's get so many get... people wanting to work with you, it's just such a lovely thing. Yeah, the, the show sort of just created so many opportunities for us, yeah. I, did, I literally like obviously didn't expect kind of thing, but um, 
Yeah. Uh, he said he was like, you know what, I'm going to have a week off. I'm going to go back to my job now. And yeah. I was like, oh, all right then, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening <laughs> with the pens? Please tell me you're doing something with pens. Well, pens have always got a special place in my heart. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I can't really leave behind. But do you know what? I always stay in touch with the boys and stuff that I work with. But, um, but yeah, I haven't been back since. So <laughs> my desk is empty. Yeah. <laughs> and how important are guys like this oh God, for your shame. channel in terms of, did you think Love Island would just create all these characters and these fantastic you know, personalities. I think at the beginning we, we weren't exactly sure, but as the programme became much more successful, um, you know, we, somebody coming off the show with three million followers on Instagram yeah. is, 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 clearly, is clearly somebody who you want to be working with yeah. um, because it's a measure of uh, their popularity. Uh, so, no, I think for Jack and Danny, as for Chris and Kem and some of the other guys from last year and previous years, there's all manner of opportunities and, and, you know, make sure you pick the right thing and get the right advice, which I hope ITV is helping you with um, through all of that. But it's the start of a, of a, of a journey, isn't it? It's yeah. Uh, exciting times, yeah. Yeah, let's have a little look at why you guys are so bloody popular. <laughs> Here's a clip. Oh, God. With terms of casting, how do you go about finding fantastic individuals like these two here? Well, as you know, the show isn't anything without the Islanders that are cast. It's, I mean, the production period for the show is six months, and you can't really rush that because we need to find really good people. Um, and it's a mixture. There's obviously an application process. Uh, social media is quite helpful in finding people. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's how Jack was found. Uh, we do street casting. We go to nightclubs. It's a whole mixture of things in order to find well 38 people went through the door of the last series and that's a huge amount of people and that casting as everyone knows who watches the show is continuous we start with 11 or 12 and then throughout the show we're continuously casting so it is an exhaustive process but we have to you know it, the job for us i think is to find people you're not expecting to see as well as some people you are expecting to see and then equally we are trying to do a bit of matchmaking behind the scenes. We have this hilarious situation where we put down the shortlist and we go, oh, well, they're definitely going to fancy them and they're definitely oh, yeah. going to fancy them and that's definitely going to happen. And when they go in, the exact opposite happens. Always. And we always predict it completely incorrectly. Do you, uh, is there a method you find, I don't know if this is even the research being done, but how you find someone and how they place. Do you mean like if the people that are picked out of the nightclub, maybe do they rise to the top or is it? No, I'm not sure there is an exact science, if I'm honest. But obviously, you know, you can get a good sense. People, you know, this generation, because obviously I'm not the same generation, live their lives so publicly, you can get a really good sense of people from their social. And you can get a sense yeah. of whether they've got a good sense of humour, whether they're up for a laugh, what kind of person they are. And we do a lot of that, even if we find someone through an application process. People are living their lives very publicly and sharing everything they're doing, which is probably part of the success of the show as well, because this, the show is sort of reflecting where we're at in terms of social yeah. media. Exactly. So how did you guys get picked? You said it was social media yourself? Yeah, I remember I was literally just sitting at my desk at work and um, I got a message on Instagram and um, it just said, oh, look, do you want to come into ITV? And I thought, oh, they're winding me up. I didn't think, didn't think it was like real. And then I was just saying, oh, no, I think you'd be really good because I've looked at all like, your stories and all your pictures and stuff, so you'd be really good um, for Love Island. And I was like, oh, right then. So I went, I went, went there, and it was real, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, I went there, and then they called me back again to like, meet the execs, and then that was, was, that was pretty much it. It was like, really straightforward. Yeah. It was, like, really just, just happened. It was yeah. crazy, yeah. And what about you, Dan? Well, mine, because obviously I went on that show, Survivor of the Fittest. Yes. I was only on it for a day. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Um, <laughs> so loved you, though, yeah. the day that you were on it. I literally, um, so obviously I had to go home because I hurt myself. Was it you dislocated your yeah, shoulder? Yeah, dislocated my shoulder. Would Both. be me. Never, ever hurt myself, but then I did it on telly. Yeah. So. So yeah, and then obviously they mentioned to me, like, would you go on Love Island? And I was like, no way, I'm not going on Love Island. Did you said no originally? Yeah, I didn't want to, I was too scared. I was like, I don't want to go on a show and like, have to do all love stuff. <laughs> love stuff, <laughs> love stuff. <laughs> I, I was really love stuff. Love stuff. So brilliant. I was like, I don't really want to do it. And then they left it for a little while and then they recontacted me and I, they was like, come and meet us again. And then love stuff. Very After a while, I said, yeah. <laughs> Well, there you go. And obviously, like we said, we have there's such big characters and then they can go on to do such great things. I'm sure you two will as well.